What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fencer Princess, SoundCloud, Aquarius, and everybody else who can't stand my videos. It's your boy, Tone 202. And um, I just want to talk about something I just saw on the internet, talking about black women being single. And this is a good thing, because they choose not to marry. Uh, and their options are, if they want to marry... Uh, their options are are dwindling because they're locking black men up and killing us. And uh, this is true. We're six times more likely to be locked up than a white dude. So, yeah. Um, I, I wanted, I wanted, uh, okay, it also said that Black women are more likely not to date outside the race. I'm like, where'd you get those statistics from? <laughs> because, oh, like everywhere I look, black women, dark, dark chocolate, African, African-American black women have white men. My next door neighbor, white dude. Like they can't even stand me. Like they're afraid of me, but they love a the white dude. I was like, y'all afraid of me, and I'd be the first one to help y'all. I actually had to check them on this. I was like, y'all act like y'all afraid of me. But I would actually be the first one to jump on your side. But I was like, you know, if y'all want to be scared of me, be scared of me. I don't care. I was like, I, I just told them I'm tired of it. I'm tired of stupidity like that. You afraid of me because I'm black. You darker than me. Like, get out of here with that. I was like, you know what? I, I told them, you want to be afraid of me? Be afraid of me. I don't care anymore. I really don't. But, uh, you know, there are, there are, of course, you know, and when it gets to the upper echelon, uh, meaning higher pay rate, you know, you do see a lot of black, black men flocking to white women. And there are a number of reasons for that. Uh, one is, once again, the choices that are available to you. Now, some may say, well, that's pure Kafka. And I'm like, well, when you want somebody that's on your financial level, and the way America is, you got to look at a lot of those white women are already there. There, there are not a lot of black women who are millionaires uh, in that vein, in the Hollywood vein. There are some millionaire black women out there. But you know what? There's a good chance they already have white men. I mean, there's a, there's that's what they choose. Why? Because there are not a lot of black men in the millionaire vein. Like there's just, it's a very small percent. And those men get snatched up so quick. And those women aren't going nowhere. It's not like they get snatched up and then all of a sudden they're divorced. No, those women are clinging to those men in that status because they know the drill. They know, especially if they're encroaching on 30. I mean, you. it's like, look, I need to get these these kids popping. I, I'm not going anywhere. You know, what's your problem? Okay, let's fix it. And truthfully, I'm not mad about that. I'm like, stick with your dude. But the reason why, you know, you find a lot of situations is simply because they don't want to be out back out in the field looking. And there's nothing wrong with that. But love your man for your man. You know, even if he lost all his money, you still going to love him? No. Doesn't work like that. It's a financial thing. They will ditch that dude in a heartbeat. And I'm in my 40s. I'm almost 50. So I've been through the whole 30 things successful. Black men have never been a millionaire. But I've had some decent jobs. And I've had women run right up on me. You know, tell me everything about them. And I had one, one woman told me she had worshipped me. I'm like, I don't need you to worship me. I just need a woman who's going to be there. And you know what? When I lost my job, I lost that woman. So let's break it down to what it really is. You know, <laughs> I mean, it really is. You can be cute as you want to be, but when you lose your job and it's not always your fault, they don't want to hear it. Like I used to come home and be mad and I wanted to talk to my woman about it. You know, she do like this. She doesn't want to hear it. There's nobody in it for love. And this is why I'm single and I'm happy single because I realized that the way it's, it's not, it's not for love. If my woman came home and lost her job, I'm not going to leave that woman. If I come home and lost my job, my girl is going to leave me. And that's all that's to it. And this is a fear in black men's heads because we know the truth. That is the sheer truth. You're going to get left. It's only going to be a matter of time. You're either going to get left or cheated on.
It's a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. And the ones that will, you know, look, listen to this video and say it ain't true, look at yourself, look at your situation, and try to analyze what I'm saying. Because there's a good chance if you haven't done it, you will. And those of you who don't, like, I met this one black woman, known her for years. You know, every time I see her, she talk about her and her husband. I love it. And she's black, beautiful, nice body, everything. And if she wasn't with him, I would hit on that girl. I would wife her up. Because she's a good chick. But we've never talked. We've never flirted with each other. She's written in my car with me. I mean, she's just a cool chick. And she says the same thing all the time. She tells her husband, no matter what, I'm not leaving you. I'm not going out here. I'm not leaving you. So there are some black women who are in it because they love their man. they like, I'm not going nowhere. But the majority, nah, you, and, and no, I don't know the majority. Statistically, I mean, when you start looking at the divorce rate, when you start, I mean, when you start really getting, it isn't like it was 40 years ago. You know, when your aunts and uncles was growing up and they had one man and they had one woman and they stuck together, it's not like that. It's fly to be a hoe now. And don't slut shame me. And, ah, uh, man, it's, it's ridiculous. And it's my body. I can be a hoe if I want to. It's like, I don't know where y'all get that from. Did America teach y'all that? Is that what you think? You can just do what you want with your body and nobody should say anything to you. <laughs> you even though you, you can be causing harm to other people's bodies, you think going around hoeing and all that doesn't have an effect on somebody? Is that what you think? You think there's not a spiritual tie between you and all the people that you're, you know, you're clowning around with, fornicating with and doing whatever. And look, I didn't did my share of fornicating, but you know what? I repented of that because I realized what was going on. Like, let's be for real. The numbers are against black women. And there's a lot of hatred between black women and black men. There is some deep, deep, deep hatred. And a lot of that is caused by the court systems. A lot of that is caused by uh, other single women. If you're if you're a woman in a great relationship, you're going to have a bunch of friends that aren't in a relationship. You know what they're going to try to do? They're going to try to get you away from that relationship because they're miserable and they're alone. And they're waking up by themselves and they see you happy and your dude is good looking and he got paper. He's doing exactly what a black man is supposed to do, taking care of his. They're going to be jealous of you. And you got to get rid of those friends. Just like, look, look, I, I'm not trying to know. I'm not going to unfriend you on Facebook. I'm not calling you because I'm not trying to hear what you got to say. Because I know going back out into this world and trying to get what I already have. No, it's the numbers are against you. So, I mean, when you look at the brothers who are locked up, the, the numbers are astronomical. When you look at the brothers who are gay, it's just more and more every day. And then you got the down low brothers. And that's just getting ridiculous because they're just coming out of the woodworks right now. So I'm saying, sisters, you know, you're not like <laughs> the chance of you and your forty, fifty thousand dollar job a year tagging a man who has the same as you do, you know. Those numbers are kind of slim. And then a young lady said, I'm not going to, uh, she said, I'm not going to hold it against a brother if he got a record. However, if he got a record, I am not going to be his mate. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's your choice. I have a record, you know, and I had a black woman do the same thing to me. She was like, I need your full name. <laughs> I'm going to look you up. And I'm going to look at you see if you have a record. And I said, I have a record. Knock yourself out. Go ahead. Why? Because I know there's more of you than there are of me. And I don't need you. I don't. If I want one of you, I'll just go out and get one of you. Regardless of, you know, your high standard. She has a good job. Really good job. So, but I'm not going to sweat her because I didn't want her because of her job. I didn't even care where she worked. I just wanted her because she was a cool chick. But when she went that route, I was like, nah, I'm good. I just don't care. I don't. If that's what you want to do, you look up every brother that you come across, you go right ahead and you're still going to be single. And when you do come across that one guy, he's going to have more women. Because you ain't, for one, you ain't the finest. For two, you, you, you're just one person. He's got his choices. 
all there's to it. He got his choices, and there are women a lot more fine than you are. All he has to do is go on Instagram, and he can start flagging them down. He can go on Facebook. He can put his status up. Next thing you know, they'll be all over him. He can go on Tinder. He can go on Craigslist. He can go on uh, Match.com, Plenty of Fish. He can go on any of the millions of websites out there, and there are floods and floods and floods and floods of single women, and they don't have to be black. Because a white woman will track you down in a heartbeat and treat you a whole lot different than what you than what a black woman will. Now, my credit to my sisters, the sisters who are like real, like in there, like down for they dudes, like no matter what, yo, big up to y'all. But y'all are a dwindling number. You're a dying species. And that's just the truth. So you don't want me because I got a record. I have a record. I have misdemeanors. I don't care if you don't want me. Because I'll date your sister. <laughs> I'm at that age where a 30-year-old roll up on me with that nonsense. I'll turn around and look at her mom. I'll be like, your mom is, what, 52? Me and your mom can go out. And I will spend all my whole paycheck on her. Just because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. You have a nice day. I just don't need you. You're one woman. I just don't care. You're not going to break my heart. You're not. There's far too many of you. And then I'll go outside of the country, go to Brazil, go back to Germany. I mean, let's be real. So you can, you know, be picky all you want. You can, you know, act like black men, you know, just aren't worth your time. You can stay single like Cosmopolitan wants you to. You can get upset because somebody said, hey, beautiful to you today while you were walking down the street. That's just stupid. <laughs> hey, beautiful. I, you call me beautiful. <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmopolitan is really on it like that. You can listen to those stupid people. Or you can understand that most black men are probably not going to have your education. We're just not. Most black men... Uh, are not going to be without a record. They're just not. You got to understand that uh, some black men are going to have experiences that are not favorable to what you consider a mate. Uh, they're going to have a child. I have a child. They're going to have a child. They're going to have some baggage that comes with them. And they're going to be fighting for their life every day. Because the police are shooting people in the head. And if you don't know about it, one just got shot in the head a couple of days ago. So I don't need to come home to you fussing at me when I can get in my car and not come back. Just because. I'm just saying, if you're going to help your dude, help your dude. Get off of that. Get off of social media. Get off of that nonsense. That Cosmo's kicking. You know, get with the real. We, if we're going to start, you know, creating more of us, we need to find a way to stick together. And you need to get all that nonsense out of your head. If your dude is struggling at his job, you need to find a way to help that man out. Especially if he's helping you out. If he's coming at you and you coming home uh, uh, and you tired and this man is making bath water for you. This man is trying to rub your feet. He's not a punk. He's not a pussy. He loves you. And you're stupid if you go out and you start messing with some dude who cares less about you and start cheating on this good dude. And then when you get left, I don't feel sorry for you. He's not a punk. He's a good man. That's what he's supposed to do. You come home and he's trying to take care of you. This man is cooking for you. There's nothing pussy about cooking for your woman and your family. There's no, there's nothing weak about that. Get that out your head. This man don't want to listen to the hardcore nonsense rap. There's nothing punk about that. He is not interested in the stupidity that comes out of other people's mouth. And he doesn't want that spirit all off into his house. He's protecting his house like he's supposed to. Just because a man wears a suit and tie doesn't mean that there's something wrong with him. That's what's wrong with the world today. That's what's really wrong with y'all. Y'all listening to that garbage. 
black men can be a black man in his own home in his own home and you got to recognize exactly what a black man is and all this strong black man get that out of your head it's black man it's not strong black man it's just black man get that out of your the, the white people don't say i want a strong white man they don't say that it's just white man Mexicans, I want a strong Latino. It's just Latino. They want a strong dude from wherever their origin is from. That's what they want. Get that out your head. That's just the way to uh, uh, spiritually disenfranchise us. It's all it's doing. It's a way to cut us down. And then y'all sitting up there with your legs crossed looking at us like we ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. You looking at us like we ain't nothing. You shouldn't even do that. You should be like, what's going on with this brother? Are you going to help this brother or are you not? If you not, hey... Brother, I can't help you. Boom, be out. But don't be looking at the man and downgrading the dude because he just got hit 12 times in the head by the cops and got behind bars just because he ain't have a license plate in front of his doggone car. Y'all stupid. Quit being stupid. This is life.